Fellow Yakuzers, are we Yakuzing today or no? Put a one in the chat if you're Yakuzing right now. Alright. Hello people! How are you doing? How's your Thursday going? Ready for the weekend? Okay, so the modder says, I'm sorry to say it since I found out after version 0 0.1.2. Uh, but if you're doing true final, then sadly I'm on self locks. You'll still get through it, but he just doesn't work right now. Uh, that's fine. Um, if we can get through the rest of the tower at least, I can live with that. So I'm assuming the normal tower works then. Maybe we can do that. But uh, I think that's going to be a little too easy given uh, my save. I have uh, 99 at every single job. Hmm... <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, we're early today as well. <clears throat> Full normal works, but he can get through all of true except for ammo. Okay, well, that works. I can live with that. Uh, so, before I said that uh, when we do these, like just randomizer runs, we'll do the uh, Sotembri Arena and then also the Millennium Tower, but I think the Arena isn't... As good of an idea as the true final Millennium Tower, because that, even if you're fully, fully, fully mixed, it's still fairly challenging. So, might stick with the Millennium Tower. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yo, Veer, how you doing? Yo, Isaac, welcome. Welcome. Uh, for any US viewers right now, just out of curiosity, put a one in the chat if this is a good timing for you. Uh, we found out yes yesterday that most of my viewers, uh, live viewers, not just, you know, video viewers, 17% of them are from the US. Um, now, if I accumulate all of Europe, I'm not sure how much that amounts to, but... Uh, the U.S. is 17%, but, like, on their own. 
It's late as fuck, but it's okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Swaggy. It's better than the other options. Asia here. Europe, and it's like 8 a.m. 8 a.m. It's 9.20 a.m. here. Out of curiosity, how many folks from, from Europe is this good timing for them? Like, I imagine there is some of you who watch at work, or some of you who watch while working from home, or something like that. But then there's others who are probably... They just got up to get to work, or school, or university. There's three main time groups. America, Europe, and Asia. And yes, there's always one group that will suffer. <laughs> and there's also exceptions in every one of those groups. Like, maybe one of one of, one of the groups, you know, you find people that, st like, stay up or, like, their schedule by nature is just flipped or, like, you know... <clears throat> watching while encoding some job pendings. Nice. 5 p.m. here in the Pacific. Okay. Yo, Cheeto, welcome. Not ordinarily would work right now if I wasn't on vacation. Okay. Okay. I stayed up until 5 a.m. for yesterday's stream. <laughs> Your sacrifice is not gonna go uh, unappreciated, so thank you for that. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Are we ready to Yakuz? Or are we not ready to Yakuz? I know what you're thinking. <gasps> Level Leon 7, where are you at? Don't worry. Boo! <clears throat> Sega? Sega? Hello? There we go. That's how we know everything is going to be fine now. Any like a dragons in chat? Me! Me! For version 0.1.3, would you prefer if the enemy heals were unskilled? But they could only use them once, or if they were scaled. You know... Part of me wants to make a poll in the whole chat. But... Um, I think either could work, really. You can't go wrong with, uh, with any of those options. Though, if anyone in chat does have, like... Opinions about this as well, please, by all means. But I think, yeah, th those two options are both good. Like, you can't... Um... Should be should be good with either of those. Okay, I'm assuming <clears throat> the volume mix is okay. Is the game louder than me? Am I louder than the game? Okay. Uh, now, which save was it that one for one? One twenty. I guess we can use this save. Wait, where, where did it go? Oh, there we go. The only issue with scaling them is that <clears throat> it'll add more development time. Um, I see. Well, I, I guess one time use is... Uh, that works if you can do that then. Because mm. maybe for like big boss fights or intense fights, having such a big heal will... Add a bit of intensity to them. Or like, you know. Uh, I don't know where this was going, but yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. If you just got here, if you skipped the intros to these uh, streams, welcome everybody. Welcome. Today we're going to be doing a um, randomizer run 
for the Millennium Tower, the true final Millennium Tower, not just the Millennium Tower, um, which is the more difficult version of, you know, the final Millennium Tower dungeon. Now, like I said, I, I maxed pretty much every single job, so this might be... Uh, it's not going to be a total walk, walk in the park, because I did play this before with, you know, very high stats, and we still kind of, you know... It, w it just wasn't... Uh... Wait. Uh, sure? Can't wait for the summit, same buddy. Da -da -da. Yeah, Zer, yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, um, I I feel like I said this a million times already, but the um, the the uh, the highlights for the uh, randomizer playthrough is almost finished. So that's that's a pug. I just have to put together the uh, Tendo fight and what comes after. And, like, the highlights are going to be finished on a, uh, a base level. Um, I might then take the time to see if I can squeeze in any more edits, make the thing a bit spicier. But usually, when you edit videos anyway, you do want to, like, uh, really take your time. Like, if you think you're finished with a video... Don't immediately, you know, render the video and then upload it on YouTube. I say that when I did that a lot of times before, but uh, if you can control yourself, that is a really good idea. So you finish working on a video, leave it, go do anything else, come back to it the next day maybe, watch it, and then you'll probably get like 10 new ideas as to what to edit or implement or how to uh, approach a certain segment of the video. Anyway, uh, we're gonna put the goat, and we're gonna put the goat. Uh, yo, Almus, welcome. Glad you're enjoying the new schedule. Treasure it while you can, because it's likely gonna change at some point. If there is one thing that's not a constant, it's a streamer's schedule. <laughs> well, not for all streamers, but you know. Okay, so... I think we're already set, actually. We can just go in and... Uh, slay, if you will. And as for items... Hell, let's just go in without... Wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. Do I have first aid uh, kits? I do, okay. Alright, to Kamurocho. Leon, Nagoshi told me before he left he developed Jimmy Low Gaiden just for you. Let's go! Can't wait. I'm sure that's what they're gonna showcase at the summit. You guys excited for that? We can see the moments leading up to Jimmy's low Jim, Jimmy Low's death. <clears throat> oh yeah, we can put freelancer to put a handicap actually. Hold on. Why not? Yo, uh, Ikramudin. Uh, good. What about you? Yeah, we buying that. We playing that chat. Wait, was I free? Oh my god, I need to check. Hold on. Am I a freelancer right now? Oh, I am. I am. I am. Okay, so... Um, probably should have replaced this with something else. Maybe... This? Alright, sorry for the wait, fellas. Sorry for the wait. Change to hero. We'll keep it freelancer. It's a small handicap, I think. <laughs> Kuroyo Kiwami was confirmed not to happen anytime soon at one of the Asian card interviews. 
Hmm. I don't know. Feel it. You can never trust RGG Studio. <laughs> you know why? You think a character is dead. Guess what? They're not. Just one example. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that's what they want us to think. Listen, let me... Let me believe, okay? Alright. True Final Millennium Tower. Remember this, the game's most difficult dungeon? Well, that was a joke. The True Final Millennium Tower is this game's real challenge. Badasses only. Recommended level 99. Recommended job level 90. Enter. We sip a little coffee. Any badasses in chat? <clears throat> okay. Is it just me? Like, when you first enter the tower, there's an encounter here, right? Is that randomized? I mean, in the base game. Keep going. <clears throat> oh yeah, System Shock came out recently, right? Did anyone play that? I never played uh, the original game, but I heard it's good. I skipped it on accident, did I? The encounter is missing on the true final version. By the way, see? Most jobs are level 99. I'm pretty sure Ichiban has all jobs at level 99. And that dealt with like a third of our HP. Alright, head trauma. <clears throat> now we... Uh, we do a bit of magic. Nice. Uh, are they weak to water? Fire. This is gonna be rough with Freelancer. Hope you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. If I took Hero, this would have been too easy. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Bravado. Uh, yeah. I, I freaking love this team. Mm, this is the best ability in the whole game. <laughs> Same zoo. You know... I don't know if they were thinking of this, um, like, ahead of this game. I doubt it. But something they can do with the Yakuza 8, they can make Freelancer a viable job. Like, you know, Ichiban in this game was not... He was still kind of developing and growing. But then, come Yakuza 8, and all the experiences he had in this game made him pretty good in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Wouldn't that be sick? He has a lot of, like, new moves in Freelancer. A lot of, like, essence moves. That would be, would be so sick. Okay, I just realized, I don't think we have a healer. Unless we switch uh, Namba in. Magical... Oh, well, this works. Yeah, this is something that I really appreciate about the Trails games that I've, you know, been streaming for the past, like, couple of weeks. From one game to the other, from a game to its sequel, there's this... They do a great job at nailing the, like, the sense of progression. So, for example, this game you start at level 1, right? The second game... Th this game's uh, cap is 99. Oh, shit. <laughs> the second game, uh, you start at level 100. Uh, even if it's like a brand new game. And then you work your way to 150, for example. Um, and... The, the moves that were available in the previous game are all available in the next game. And um, you just... You either um, learn a strengthened version of them or you learn uh, new moves. Or both. I think that could be awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see I don't have the laser. Who needs the laser anyway? 
Okay, Kiryu is pretty tough. I'm assuming he's gonna be weak to water. I did this dungeon three hours straight last year in Ramadan. Damn. Summons are scaled for version 0.1.3. Nice. Uh, I hate the gilly man. I hate any enemy that has an insta kill. Uh, I think they should add that in the next, like in the Akaz 8. Uh, some of your characters have moves that. Actually, I think this game already has it. Some moves that m might cause an insta death to enemies. Now, I don't know if he does, I'm just saying uh, I hate enemies who just have uh, insta-kill in general. So wait, where was that one? Oh, there we go, I think this is it. No. <laughs> okay, uh... Mm. I think Han Jungi has one as well. The Hitman job. I need to check it though. Yo, Zeperi, welcome. So, which one was it? Uh, point blank. May leave the enemy stunned or even knocked out. I'm assuming knocked out is, you know, KO. Well, <laughs> I just realized how fucking stupid that sounded. My bad. Uh, so yeah, uh, they do exist. It just feels like they don't have much of a presence in this game. Which it, it is... That's something they can always fix. In 8. Pepper Mill is not doing a very good job here. Back to magic, I guess. Let me heal Zhao, though. Do, 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 do. I have lost hope for Judgment 3, but why? Oh, you mean for the near future, okay. Here you attacks? Um, yeah, I do agree with that. So many enemies are weak to shock in this game. Or uh, electri electricity, or whatever you want to call it, lightning. Spreading out the weaknesses and also adding more elemental attacks in 8 would be great. associates. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Kimura left them, but there was a thing where I think the owner passed away or something, so it's under new ownership now and they're less uh, strict about licensing stuff. Dragon of Dojima. Oh, sorry. Dragon of Dojima. Okay. I was about to ask you, good hun. Huh? 
Alright. We might need to refill our... Uh, what did this game call it again? The magic bar? <laughs> or whatever. Uh, one and two. What happens if we attack during Dragon Gaze? Uh, I forgot. Maybe we should have tried it. Okay, Yokohama Lumong, batter out of hell. Nice block. Oh no. God, back tough moves. Or spearhead. Spearheader, okay. Uh, oh, he's big to it. God, I love this move. There won't be a Shinada or an Akiyama game. Nah, watch. Watch, it's gonna happen. You just gotta believe. Right, guys? Right? Believe, trust, trust me, bro. Kiyom is cool, but he won't be able to pull a solo game. Honestly, I feel like even a shared game, he barely, like, drags it along. Uh, yo, yo, yo. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Are the weapons maxed out? Yes. But Ichiban doesn't have a weapon. Mm. Holy... 4k damage. Oh no. Back up again. Uh, do you know what these enemies, these two usually are? No, unfortunately I don't. It's been a long time since I played this. Wait, did his backup not work? I guess it didn't. You know who can pull a solo game? Jimmy, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Someone in chat knows how it is. Isn't this the Saijima room by default? I guess not. Dr. Black. Oh, he's weak too. Perfect. Have I told you guys how much I love that move? Well, I do. Walter. Let's try... This move <laughs> is too powerful. We're, do we're gonna do this again, because... Zhao noises. Uh, neck twister. I don't usually use any of those moves ever, but... We do kind of have the luxury, so why not? I think this is a picture on the mod page, but I've gotten a level 99 number during a randomizer in True Final Enemy Tower. Nice. <laughs> that sounds like a fun time. Uh, 
15 million! God, I forgot how good of a farming method th this tower is for money. And materials as well, look at that. Yeah, once you once you are able to do this tower, you don't need to farm anything else. Keep going. What if we press go outside by mistake soon? I just jinxed myself, didn't I? Da, 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 da. Okay, we have a pervert up ahead. You started streaming earlier nowadays. Yeah, my sleep schedule kind of changed. I'm kind of fixing it. But uh, we'll see how long that lasts. Uh-oh. Back up. What? Bodyguard. A low level one, though. 37. Mm, you know what? Divine shot, baby. They made the uh, post farm post game farming methods for this game really convenient. I wish the same could be said for Lost Paradise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's kind of ironic. You'd think this game would have the some of the most brutal grinding in all of the series, but no, it really doesn't. I'm assuming Veer didn't count Kiryu, because, you know, it's Kiryu. They could always make a game for him. Uh... You know, I can only wonder, is 8 gonna have an arcade-like organization, or... Just how can they... Where could they go with that game? Oh! Man, I love when that move attacks multiple people. It's very unlikely, but when it happens... I feel like now that they've exhausted the idea of RK... It's gonna be difficult. It's difficult to see them doing something original. After that. Just finished Ishin, nice. What do you think of it? Brutal this. That guy is me, Saiko is Yakuza 5. Uh, so this wasn't the best option. Oh, there we go, nice. This guy is almost down. There we go. So what the hell is that guy weak to? Guns? Knives? Our music request on the menu today. No. It's gonna take longer to set up the actual songs than the whole uh, randomizer run. Nice. Paralysis is on both. Okay, bodyguard is weak to fire. Yakuza Saijima spin-off where he's in jail for 30 hours instead of 3. <laughs> God, please, no. We've had enough of the Yakuza 4 and 5 with that. No, I say that, but I would love that. Bring it on. Give me the Saijima prison game. But the question is, on what grounds is he back to prison this time? Mm, okay, Psycho needs an MP refill. Mm. 
Saijima Teaching Simulator. Yo, Aline, good morning. Beat Dropper. Yo, look at him. <laughs> so why did that make our defense fall? Saijima prison management game. Hell yeah, dude. And once you beat that, you get a secret style. Prison man. Mm, wait, what do we do? Okay, he's weak to uh, blades. Saijima clan creator, but in prison. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Uh, you know, I don't mind clan creator, but that does actually sound like a pretty fun idea. see some more party choreography scenes in 8, like how the Judgment games have them. Same. I don't really have much to complain about with this game, but that is one thing that I really would love to see in uh, 8. Predictions on when Like a Dragon Gaiden will come out in 8. Well, for Gaiden, I'm gonna shoot my shot and say... Uh, between October this year and December. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Nothing like waking up at 4 a.m. to watch Japanese GTA. Hell yeah. We all love Japanese GTA here. Yeah, is it going to be another Christmas game? We can only wonder. Yeah, Silver. I, I think one thing they could do in Yakuza 8... Uh, they have duo moves in this game, you know, between each of one of party members. They could make it so that every party member can have a duo move with the other. But because, you know, that probably would be a little too many combinations, they could make them... Uh, generic. If that makes sense. So same animation, but just different party members. I wouldn't mind that. But, you know, having unique ones would be very appreciated. Mm. I forgot that I had this move. Let's get some free HP. How long after Lost Judgment did the Kite Files release? I'm surprised at how long it's taken RGG to give information about Gaiden, since they say it's supposed to be just an extra large Kaito Files. I think between Lost Judgment and the Kaito Files, there was, what, what, like nine months? Wait, actually, let me check, hold on. So... Lost Judgment release date... September 2021. The Kaito Files release date... March. So six months. You know, yeah, th that is kind of impressive thinking on it. Though a lot of the assets they already did have. Uh, when did they announce Gaiden? Was it last year at this point? Has it been a year already or not? No, wait. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. My bad, my bad. So yeah, I think a release this year is very possible then.
Yeah, one thing I'm really worried about with Garden is the replayability. I know it's not supposed to be a super big game to begin with, but I don't want it to be like the Kaito Files where, you know, if you want to ever replay that, it's like, oh, you want to keep everything you worked for for hours? No, do everything again. Yeah, I think it's been nine months. I just realized Psycho needs heals right now. Devil challenge beats Millennium Tower with base jobs. That's basically what I'm doing right now. The only difference is, uh, the only exception is Psycho. H1 has even the base plus job. The freelancer uh, job. So I'm kind of going the extra mile with that. How time flies indeed. How would you feel about Lad spin-off about Tenimura and Shinoda? Bringing those two back already is a hard enough of a task. Bringing the two back in the same game is... Uh... Yeah, look, I, I understand Copium, but no. Even for me, that's uh, too much. He's flossing. <laughs> How? What? That okay? That was a huge. All right, all right. You want to play it that way? Okay. Bro stole all of my fucking MP. Come on. <laughs> Look, I can't do shit now. Well, let's see how much the base attack does. <laughs> nice. Jungi, you had one fucking job. Uh... Nice. Nice. You know, I only just noticed the low accuracy, but that makes sense now. There we go. What a fight. Let's see. I might actually have major MP issues in this dungeon. That we we do have these, so that's that's good. Hello, Das. Welcome. What are your thoughts about Honkai Star Rail? I have no idea. I think the only game that I played was... Uh, what was it? Honkai 3rd... Oh, I can't remember the name. But I thought it was... Crap. Honestly, I had a great time with the grind for normal uh, Millennium Tower. Optimal ways to grind for XP. Yeah, I thought the grind in this game was really good. Uh, they just... No complaints for me, really. Oh yeah, Honkai Impact 3rd. Played that, didn't like it. You know what I did like, though? Yakuza Online. Now that's a game for gamers. Highly recommended. Download it today. This is not sponsored. Just kidding. Uh, Yakuza Online kind of sucks as well. Yeah, the shortcuts... Uh, thing is pretty good to have, even if I forget about it more than half of the time. Mm. 
Nice. One down. That's a lot of damage, goddamn. Okay, wait. Uh... Leon, would you spend your life savings on the Akaza Online? Bold of you to assume I already haven't. What insert character Gaiden do you think could make for a really good Gaiden if they made it a spin-off series to tell the stories outside of the main continuity? Uh, I think most people wouldn't disagree with this, but uh, some of the past villains like Mine and Ryuji, going back to uh, certain points of time for those and seeing what they went through. I think Gaiden, like, could actually be a very good series for villains more than the protagonists. Because a lot of the villains are really popular, but also a lot of them are dead. <laughs> so, you know, that's one way to go around it. Wait, how? I thought I missed. What? Is Yakuza Ishin basically a dead game? Absolutely. There's never been a more dead Yakuza game. Just kidding. I, like... I feel... M maybe if you give it a few more months, people are going to be talking about uh, Ishin more. But who knows? Maybe Ishin really is a dead game. So wait, did, did we figure out this guy's weakness? I, uh, I'm having trouble keeping up with this guy and also chat. And also my own thoughts. And also, coffee. <laughs> you know, now that, now that I think about it, I think... The reason Ishin isn't such a awkward spot is because even for those who never played it, people already knew what to expect with it, so it's like yeah, like you could talk about the story now that you understand it, but there's really not that much to talk about, I think you know what I'm saying Morinaga guide in hell yeah I still think Morinaga was wasted, like my guy showed up and he got the Jimmy treatment. Not even Jimmy treatment. At least Jimmy, you got to see what happened to him, but... Yo, Prince Jay, pretty well. How are you doing? Yeah, I, again, I say this as someone who didn't enjoy Yakuza 5 story a lot, but Morinaga was wasted. Big shame. Big shame. Uh... I feel like... A lot of people looked into Ishin to try to compare it to the original despite having never played it. Hmm, yeah. Abyssal Dance. Dragon Sweeper. I love this move. Okay, let's see. Oh, this move is going to be good here. 
Then again, this move is good in most fights. We have a guess when Gaiden would come out at the end of this year. These are weak to water. Sweet! Holy. Maybe I should do uh, Peerless on each of them just in case. people don't have something, they would do anything to convince themselves that they require it. Require it. And what they, when they have it, they realize that they never needed it. That's what Ishin felt like. Mm. Yes, like... Yes and no, I think. Uh, it's... I feel like it's a bit harsh to say that Ishin was overhyped, but it kind of was. Oh no. Whoa. <laughs> okay, first uh, KO there. I do think that the remake of Ishin did bring some issues that made the game less enjoyable. Like, you know, the crazy amounts of hyper armor. But in general, I think I said this a lot before, but the samurai games really, they're not my top picks. Why do you think it took me so long to pick Kenzan on the channel? God, that used to be a meme back then. Leon, play Kenzan! Leon, play Kenzan, please! Leon, I'm gonna pay you! And when did I play it? Was it uh, sometime last year, right? I think in summer or something like that. Yo, Tran, welcome. <laughs> Okay, one target left. Kenzan feels a little more interesting than Ishin, at least from what I've seen of it. Possibly. Between the two, I don't know which one I'd pick. As, you know, the more fun one. Like, I guess... Going purely off of, like, combat. You can say even Kenzan has multiple styles. Uh... Recently got Kenzon. Physical, can't wait to play it at some point. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't know why RGG felt the need to make a second Samurai spin-off. Well, I... How well did Kenzon sell? Hold on. Uh, Ryuga Gotoku Kenzon sales. 
Within four days of its release in Japan, Ryuga Gotoku Kenzan sold 177,000 copies. Now, by comparison, let's see Ishin. Ishin sold 35,000 physical copies on PlayStation 4 and 31,000 on... Wait, PS5. Wait, wait. Are they talking about the remaster? Reception. Yeah, I don't know if this is talking about... I'm assuming it's talking about the remakes? But yeah, hold on, hold on. Uh, original sales. Yeah, that's what I typed. Ryu got good to Koishin, but... I think it just gives me the remake sales. Wait, I think... What was it, Famitsu? I think they did the... There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so Ishin on the PS3 sold 138,000 in the first... No, wait. These are lifetime sales. God damn it. But yeah, I guess Kenzon did really well by comparison. I'm assuming, at least. Now, let's see... You know, I think one of the most successful Yakuza games in Japan was 6. Uh, that was before people knew that it, it had a lot of jank. The Yuga got to go 6. Sales. Uh... In its first week of release in Japan, it sold 218,000 copies. In Japan only. Combined with the rest of Asia, the game shipped over 500,000 units by December 16, 2016. It was the third best-selling video game in the United Kingdom during its European debut week, making it the biggest launch for the series in the UK. Ha! Huh, the more you know. Okay. As of June 2018, the game has sold 800,000 to 900,000 units worldwide. Uh, with overseas markets accounting for approximately half of the game sales. Damn. But yeah, uh, enough talk about the sales. I, uh, we need to get gaming. But yeah, when you look up these sales uh, for these games, you, you'll you uncover a lot of interesting stuff. Oh no, back up already? Nobody responded. Nice. Yo, Makona, pretty good. How are you doing? Yeah, sleep schedule and all that. So here's a question for you guys. Uh, between these elemental attacks, do you think it's unfair how one of them is 70? MP cost, the other one is 44, and the third is 80. I feel like they should have a tier system, where, you know, the first fire uh, tier attack, if that makes sense, is like 20 MP, and then the first uh, water tier attack is 20 also, same for uh, lightning, or electric, and then there's higher tiers. Oh, the power, right. But yeah, I still think making like a, a tier system with these would be good. Cuz they I mean, look, I look at this. They're just unbalanced. Medium for water, heavy for fire, and then <laughs> extreme for lightning. I think there should be like weaker tiers for lightning and so on and so forth. <sighs> Yeah, I'm sure a lot of RPG games do that kind of thing. Uh. <laughs> I 
think RGG needs to focus on making moves feel more unique in LAD 8 so that there aren't like five different moves that are do a similar damage but hit enemy differently. Yeah, yeah, Zhao definitely has a lot of that. Yo, Haider, how you doing? Yeah, one of the most, what's the word, inexplicable things ever. Head trauma says light damage. But reality is way different, like couldn't be farther from the truth. That was good damage. Fix head trauma or make it cost more. Part of me says no, please keep it the same way, but yeah. Head trauma is... It's head trauma. But yeah, look. Head trauma, light damage. Thank you, Haida. <laughs> Let me ask you guys this. Do, do you feel like they do a good enough of a job to separate each... Uh, occup like a job or occupation or whatever? Make them feel unique? Unique enough for you to have preferences? Or do you feel like they should do more? Nice. A system that I thought would be cool is that er, uh, certain individual characters have certain affinity to certain jobs, thus making their MP costs for that job cost less compared to other characters using that skill. Example, Zhao chef skills could cost, could cost less. Psycho hostess jobs job would cost less. Yeah, I think that's an that's an amazing idea. Uh, we can only hope that it's going to be implemented, though. Ill-natured man. Paparazzi. Let's see. Problem is, feels like you have to grind them for the one or two moves, or stat bonuses, then you stick with the one class. Yeah, though I don't think that, in my opinion, that's not necessarily a bad thing, because... That means, you know, you get the shared moves, and you get the permanent stat buffs, and then you can just pick whatever class you love the most and stick with it. Uh... Yo, reverse, welcome. I just noticed, are all enemies random? Mm, I think so. Yakuza 7, randomizer. What could that mean? Whoa, whoa, buddy, stop! You need to ask for permission first. Flash Flurry. Jeez. Mm. I hope they'll do uh, more to make the non-default jobs more tempting options as permanent jobs. Yeah. I think in general this game does a good job of making each job appealing, but they definitely could add more unique uh, traits to each single job. Uh, no 
problem soon. Thank you. Beautiful. I forget, are enemies like in the in the normal tower without the randomizer, are they all level 99? It's been a while since I played the default one. Oh, he's weak to this, okay. I'm spamming this then. No, yes. No, I don't think so. Okay. Mm. Seventy-eight plus. Okay. Even the legends are like level seventy to eighty. Okay. Because, yeah, I thought these guys are a little too tanky. Like, it's not, you know, bad in any way, but... Wait, what? How? Okay. Ill-natured man solos scare you. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what makes someone a level 99 paparazzi in real life. Oh, you know. Exposing Devil Leon 7 for the filthy. Garbo he is. Exposing the fact that he spends 10 grand a month on Yakuza Online. Right? It was with me. That was a joke, by the way. <laughs> I swear. Okay, l listen. I swear, it is. I don't want any of you to ha have the wrong idea and they're like, hey, uh, <laughs> look. <clears throat> uh oh. That was quite the bonk. A real man ought to spend a couple of thousand on Yakuza online. Goda Ryuji. Boom. I wonder if he's weak to anything else. I think normally this guy's weak to uh, knife attacks. Yep, there we go. Alright, Yoshi. Have a good sleep, buddy. Can't wait for a sign till 3. Oh, yeah. I might do that tomorrow. Actually, no. Or no, wait. I think... I'm gonna have a little something tomorrow, but I think I should still be able to. Yo, Rosie. Uh, apparently, uh, true final Millennium Tower Ammon is not working properly, so we're... We're gonna have to stop before him. I might uh, redo the tower with a new, like, randomizer, see how that goes. Maybe he's gonna show up, you know, as part of the, uh, the seed. This guy's pose always looked confusing to me, but he's just holding a giant... He got his pose, but he's holding a giant hammer. Kinda, yeah.
my back hurts looking at that guy's stance. Which Silent Hill is your favorite, Leon? Either one or three. One, because that game has Harry Mason, and three, because that game has Heather Mason. God damn! Uh, let me do this. No love for Silent Hill 4. We talked about that yesterday. I love Silent Hill... Well, I don't love Silent Hill 4. I like it. I think it has a lot of neat ideas and concepts. But my goodness, the fucking gameplay. <laughs> and that's saying something, because it's not like the other Silent Hill games have mind-blowingly good gameplay. They're all similar, really. But between, like, the new inventory limitation system and having to replay the entire game twice, so you finish, like, all of the levels, and the game's like, hey, guess what? All of these levels you just finished? Yeah, you have to go through them again. Except now they're more difficult because they have these immortal ghosts. Oh, and if you want the good ending, guess what? There is an escort system involved. And you have to make sure not a fucking fly hurts the uh, the person you're escorting. And even though I made absolutely goddamn sure that no harm comes to her, I still got, uh, you know, not the best ending when I played that game. So yeah, overall, Silent Hill 4, very um, flawed game. Even by Silent Hill standards. Let's see. Yeah, I did say this before, but it's like Devil May Cry 4, where you go through the levels as Nero, and then the other half of the game, you play as Dante, just going back through the same levels. Uh... Oh no. Gotta start healing. DMC. <laughs> I wish I could not care about anything as much as Henry does, though. Yeah, I know, right? Goals, right there. My, my only experience with Silent Hill was a YouTube video when I was young about a baby like monster that walked with its arms. Yeah. I think that's from Silent Hill 4. So, wait. Do we have any heal summons? I think Nugget... Oh, we can't summon them. It doesn't work. Knights. Mm. Humans only. Wait, what? Mm. Okay, let me give this to Saiko. Wait, where is she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> I love and hate DMC4. Fair enough. Okay, these guys are super tanky, even by the, stand the standards of the other enemies we faced. So, wait, let me try this. Oh, perfect. Perfect, we cracked the code. Mm, I think we need to heal her again. I think I should have done... Yeah, I should have had Psycho heal herself instead. So, you know what? Let's use this on... Jungle. Why are they remaking Silent Hill 2 and not 1? Most likely because 2 is the safer uh, game to do. 
because it's a standalone game. Whereas 1 is uh, directly linked to 3. So they might want to see how 2 does first. RGG needs to stop milking Kiryu. It's time for new characters to be in the spotlight. Seeing him in new games makes me want to drop Yakuza altogether. <laughs> now, a lot of people share that sentiment. Um, I always say this, but I'm the kind of person who, like, whatever they do, I'm most likely going to play the game and probably even enjoy it. But... I don't know. I kind of understand why they continue to milk Kiryu, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, you just introduced a new like a new lead. Uh, let's see. Right after the summit, actually. If you've uh, seen people posting on Twitter, <laughs> there were so many memes about them just milking Kiryu. Mm, let's heal Jungi. Wait, there we go. Yo, Carter, welcome. Isn't Wildlad one of the best sellers in the series? It is. Contrary to popular belief, contrary to all of the. <laughs> Ichiban deniers, if you will. Man, listen, this is not a jab at anyone, I'm just saying. Uh, Yakuza 7 sold super well. Because, like, you had people who were so sure, and I mean, like, unbelievably confident that 7 was gonna bomb and sell absolutely horrible because Kiryu is not the playable character. But, you know. Look at where we are. <laughs> okay, uh, who the hell is Ida? Okay, this move is not too bad on them. But I wonder what their weakness is. Oh. Okay, fire for two of them. I was hoping it would hit uh, Peacemaker as well, but it didn't. Um, man. Oh, five, almost six thousand. God damn. There's a Yakuza character who. Who would you like from Yakuza in second? You know, the popular pick for a while has been Kiryu. I wouldn't mind. Speaking of, uh, Street Fighter 6 is coming out soon, right? Oh no. I might actually get that game. It looks pretty fun. And apparently reviews compared it to Yakuza, the single player mode. So, you know. Oh, weak to hat trauma. Gimme, gimme. He gonna stream Street Fighter 6? Maybe. Uh, 
comes out tomorrow. Oh, that that is super soon. Goddamn. Uh, yeah, maybe we can look into that. Have we died at any point so far? Uh, we had one party member die. I think Zhao. But uh, Ichiban still hasn't. Yo, big welcome. Die go with a gun in Fortnite when I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Leon, I thought we talked about this. It's it's Mr. Fart, true? My bad, Mr. Fart. Shinara in Soul Calibur 7. Hell yeah. Level up. 11. Rip. So what was this guy weak to again? Gun? Knife? Chan and Guilty Gear. Yeah. <laughs> With a remix of I Believe in You. I believe in you. I used to listen to that nonstop. Keyword. Used to. <clears throat> Thank you, hope uh, work goes well for you. Kuze in UFC. <laughs> Kuze in WWE, how about that? Da -da 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 -da. Yo, Salamandero, welcome. Uh oh, Death Knuckle. I think Death Knuckle is here by default anyway. Okay, this could actually be a huge problem. Maybe. Or maybe not because we're all like level 99. But yeah, if you haven't been here before, uh, on the full game playthrough with the randomizer, this guy gave us a very bad time uh, at some point. So let's just hope that's not gonna be the case here. Water? Yes. I'm definitely doing peerless on Ichiban. Uh, mm. Lock long in Final Fantasy 16. Gimme, gimme. Uh oh. Nice. Maybe I should. Uh, let me see if Ichiban even has it. I don't think he does. Uh, Hyper Swagger. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have a group uh, attack buff. Laogui <laughs> and Assassin's Creed call up. Get this ultimate assassin from the hit game Yakuza 0. Now in Assassin's Creed 10. For a limited time. For a week only. 
get your Laogui's um, after you click this link or something. I would probably get into Assassin's Creed that way. Is he gonna do the. Yes! Oh my. Okay, well, maybe we can kinda. Like, if we just hope he doesn't do it again. Nice. Yeah, one of my complaints about this move is that if you're too close, that that's that, that happens. Okay, maybe we should focus on killing this guy first. So that we take our sweet, 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 sweet time with Mr. Death Knuckle. Or should I say Mr. Bitch? <laughs> yeah, I think if we just focus on him, it should be possible. Keyword should be, but let's... Let's take care of this guy first. No! Not him, damn it. I hope it hits the other guy. It did, sweet. The bitch knuckle, yes. Whoa. Okay, we need the heal. Can you lock his skill? Oh yeah, me, uh, what's it, what's it called in this game? Muting or whatever. Uh, cause them to fall asleep. I think the problem with the sleep debuff is that if you attack them, they wake up. Maybe the poison would help a little. Silencing, yes, thank you. Okay, poison. Um, successful. Oh, no. She might... Nice. What a beast! Maybe we have items that cause silence then. Hold on. The enemy will drop an item and flee. Uh, hmm. Oh, wait, he's weak to this? Let's see how much damage that does. So he's weak to this and water. Water is cheaper though, so we might as well use that more. If you still have area default. Oh, yeah, hold on. Uh, Jungi. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the reminder. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that. Uh, maybe. Let's see if this does anything. Miss. Don't heal. Don't heal. Okay. So, where was it? Brainwashed. Mm. Wait, did she have? Wait. May leave the enemy afraid. May leave them stunned. Oh, there we go. Ceiling stamp. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess it doesn't work on him. Uh, I'm gonna try the next, like, best options. Maybe stun, if we can, like, hit that. Or paralyze. Sounds like a jackass. Nice. And a mist. Yo, Ichimanka, how are you doing? Okay, well... May leave them brainwashed. Let's try that. No. Let's just focus all our attacks for now. See what happens. Oh, uh, come on. Okay. <laughs> ok, 
Okay. Yo, awesome, welcome. Yeah, should be possible, hopefully. Let's just hope he doesn't... There we go, nice, nice. Just, Yeah, just keep doing that. Keep doing that. Where... Wait, do I not have... Oh, no magic move? Wait. Oh, I didn't do the job swapping with her, I think. That's why. Shit. Uh, let me bring uh, back Jungi. Nice, come on. How does perfect guard or resist work in this game? Uh, it's a timed button pr press. Right as you get attacked, you press circle on PlayStation. I don't know about Xbox or PC. Yo, Winston. Uh, yes, this is on Legend difficulty, and this is the hardest uh, Millennium Tower. Yeah, premium adventure legend. Victory. Do you guys have a favorite victory sound? As for me, I probably go with Team Fortress 2's. Memories, memories. Love that game. Victory. Uh, escape on PC. Interesting. Catherine. Oh no. Uh, well, looky what we have here. Holy damage! God damn! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Catherine did not appreciate the gunshots, and now... Yeah, that, 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 whatever that is, is happening. Uh... <laughs> Yo, thank you for the one gifted sub, Mr. Black. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your membership, Mr. Fart. I want to see more enemies like this in randomizers. <laughs> Though I don't know if it's... Oh no. Possible to intentionally make them like this. Mm. Let's see... How come you're not using Ichiban's hero class? Uh, to put a handicap. Because I have... Almost every job is maxed out, so that means I have super high stats. So not having access to that style is going to be a bit of a... A bit of a challenge. Yeah, I know, this is a horror stream now. <laughs> Get used to it. And there might be more up ahead. Whoa. Nice. Catherine is dead. Mm. <laughs> yeah, put a human model on uh, animal animations. Damn. Oh no. Okay, so... How much does this heal her? A good chunk, actually. Not bad. Uh... Hmm. 
I want to see human model on heavy machinery. Same. <laughs> if that's even possible. Dude, this guy has a lot of evasion. We gotta do something about that. Or maybe he's just really lucky. Mm. Oh, nice. So let me try fire then. <sighs> oh, so he's weak to knife. Knife. Blade. Whoa! What? Holy, Omi Alliance member. Jeez, relax. Do you have every hit action memorized? Uh, depends on what you mean. <laughs> the names are like... Okay, maybe... This wouldn't be a bad idea. I kind of wish this move was better, because it doesn't heal much. Frub has the Ryo Aoki fight. Have that exact thing happen. Human model and heavy machinery? Really? Damn. Hope I get that lucky one playthrough. Hold on. Dude. Holy sh- Okay, might be worth doing Peerless Resolve on Ichiban. Mm, peerless, Peerless. Maybe reducing his attack wouldn't be a bad idea. Nice. Really? I mean, it's not a big deal because he summons level 10 uh, allies, but... Nice. Now, Zhao's finisher should also do good damage. Heaven's Divide. Oh no, not this. Dude, stop it. <laughs> oh my god. My man just busts out the one hit KO move. Kinda. Alright, one more move, hopefully. Screw it, I'm just gonna do this to guarantee the hit. Okay. Now, let's heal everybody. Can you have Kiryu in your party with mods? Oh, damn it. Well, I'll take that. I think that's everything here. Now, who is this gonna be? Looks like a Kamijal guy. Mysterious man. Mijil. Is that the first non-level 99 enemy so far? Every one of them was 99. This guy's 89. Might do peerless just in case. You never know. You never know. Better safe than sorry. So what is he weak to? Maybe this. Woo! The Zhao sweep. Damn. So I'm assuming knife attacks? Yes. The bosses aren't 99, okay. Yeah, this was Tendo. 
Nintendo. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Nothing like human flesh. I hope Yakuza 8 has English dub. I think it will. I mean, at this point, it most likely will. One more attack. I'm probably gonna go back to the kitchen to uh, up. I lost the Tendo so many goddamn times before I knew about Peerless Resolve. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I love, gotta love Tender for that. What if you wanted to live? But Tendo said, God's right hand. Oh. Eight is probably gonna have dub, but I do wonder if Gaiden is also gonna have a dub. And if it does, does that mean we get more Daryl goodness? God, that's gonna be sick. Unfortunately for you, I've always resolved things with my fists. What does Peerless do? Um, if you die, you come back instantly. Okay, so this actually will be the end, because uh, True Final Millennium Tower. Omi Alliance member again? Jeez. So, um, Ammon in this tower is bugged. This means this guy is the final boss. So I guess, what, more blade attacks? Yeah, basically like a sacrifice stone. Yeah, it would have been perfect if this was Kume. What happens if you go through that room? The game crashes or something? No. I guess some kind of soft luck. When do you think Gaiden is gonna come out? Probably the end of this year. No, that's not Kume. Oh no. Yo, stylish. Good, what about you? Uh, Leon spending millions on Kume and Yakuza Online. Yeah, listen, I would appreciate it if you don't slander my good name like that. But yeah, for those who don't know, Kume actually arrived recently in Yakuza Online. He was the last event. He's a support type character. <laughs> I think what he does is he applies the... Uh, there's a status effect called Darkness. I can't remember what it does. What happens in the app is that Ammon is fine. It's when he summons the spirits, they're held to their health locks. That the spirits uh, are, and thus they can be killed. Oh. I see. I wonder if he can go back at this point. No. So why would anyone want Kume? <laughs> why indeed? You know what? We're gonna see what happens anyway. Oh wait, we can go, go back. Okay, two options. We proceed, see what happens, and then restart. Because I, I was planning to play this tower twice. Or... No, wait. Or we get, go out now, save, and then come back again, and we do face Ammon in the second run. 
Or we can just move on to the uh, to the arena, maybe. Yeah, okay, us. Oh no. <clears throat> move on to arena. Proceed. What are we feeling today, chat? Arena. Keep going. Finish it. It's your call. Arena. Keep going. Save. Let's keep going and then go for the arena. Let's see what happens. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, very well. I'm on sitting on that desk eating his me after streams. This one scene is the only reason you ever need as to why this guy is the best I'm on. Yo, Owens, how you doing? Have you done a story review of Yakuza 7? I kinda did, yes. I basically talked... I explained the entire story of this game, and then explained, uh, well, they weren't my criticisms per se, but uh, they were community criticisms, I talked about that in the uh, two most controversial Yakuza games video. Yeah, my man was just watching my stream. Um, no problem, thank you, Zoo, thank you. Uh, what, what was he weak to again? I can't remember. Hmm. Was Amon in Lost Judgment the easiest version? I beat that bozo in one try. Uh, debatable. People usually say the Yakuza 4 Amons are the easiest. Uh... Hasty shotgun. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Say one good thing about Yakuza 5. The soundtrack. And now I redirect this question to you guys. Say one good thing about Yakuza 5. Shinada. <laughs> Good pick. Good pick. Uh, what do we do? It has, uh, you know, the thing. I know exactly what you're talking about. Will there ever be a, a stream where Yakuza 5 won't be mentioned? Considering we're a Yakuza channel, probably not. Rush style. Hmm. Whoa, nice. Let's see what Hedge Mama does. Perfect.
Speaking of easy Ammons, anyone else feel Ishin Kiwami Ammon was a cakewalk? I've heard that a lot, yeah. I still haven't fought him, but... Yeah, I'm at a point in Asian right now where everything is a kickbox. I recorded the first boss fight. I recorded a bunch of boss fights actually. Still haven't uploaded any. Um, the first boss fight ended in like half a minute. Or well, it would probably would have if I didn't use heat actions. Favorite Yakuza fan fiction story. The one where Kiryu finally gets a happy ending. For real this time. <laughs> on Legend? On Asian difficulty. Yes, on Asian difficulty. How much grinding did you guys do? Uh oh. Aoki, Yokohama Lumang, and one of the worst enemies in the game. Mm. Can we kill Amon? I'll see if I can single him out first. Oh no no, sorry, I did I finish the question? How much did you guys grind for uh for Ishin? So I reached level 99, character level, and I limit bro broke that, and I think I'm level 40 now, so 140 basically. And then for each fighting style as well, I maxed out all of the trees, and I redid all of them. Uh, sorry, limit broke them. And, uh, yeah. Uh, basically, I'm very, very, uh, more powerful than I need to be. Uh-oh. And this is where we die. Please, someone. Please. Please! Zhao, nice, nice, okay. Now how do we get ready for the satellite attack? Do we... I'm assuming decreasing Ammon's uh, attack doesn't do anything. So maybe, we don't even have anything that increases our defense, so... That is gonna suck. Mm. Yeah, let's just hope for the best. Leon, which Yakuza game would you recommend for someone to platinum if they haven't platinumed any Yakuza? Well, uh, you know, the easier ones, Yakuza 6. Uh, I think, I heard Kiwami is easy, but I don't know. 
stun some of the enemies, so Ichi has more chances to bring allies back. Right. Mm. Lost judgment. Okay, we have one stun, thankfully. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> So, does he do this only once? Does anyone know? Or does he do it again later? <laughs> Ichiban, Ichiban, please work with me. No! Man. We have nothing to lose, so... Mm. Yeah, I think I wanted to go into the tower without much preparation on purpose because I do have a big advantage with with all of my stats. Because I almost every job is level 99, but uh, Mm. Yeah, we have an advantage until he does that one move. <laughs> okay. Let me heal Jungi again. Nice, it has Zhao only. I'll take that. That is very good. Okay, what I'm gonna try to do this time, once we get to that phase, I'm gonna try to have everyone heal to max. Maybe someone is gonna be able to tank it other than each of them. We can hope. We can pray. Oh no. Sweet delusion. Yo, oh, okay. Uh, funnily enough, only Jungi got affected when he's the one with the highest agility. I used an item that makes you immune to every negative effect, but it also increases decreases your defense. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Though I don't know the name. Uh oh, holy shit! <laughs> uh. Golden egg. Let me just see what I have here. Actually, wait, no, let me do the debuff with her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Which Yakuza character is the best role model? Iwami. Or maybe Kume. Uh oh. I need to do Peerless with Ichiban. <laughs> okay. Heal someone. Now let's hope and have everybody healed by the time he gets his turn. What if we use a summon with Ichiban? Like, I don't know if there's a summon that actually gives us a big advantage here. I think there might have been. I remember hearing about one, but I'm not sure which one it was. So we can try, I guess. Was it the Mr. Masochist one? I guess we'll see. Let's see, hold on. Uh, puts the... Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, though, do we use this now? This, this could make or break the fight. Do we use this now or wait a bit until Amon actually switches stances? And then we do it. Let's go for it now. Let's hope they keep that status effect long enough. Ichiban still took a lot of damage from that. Okay, there we go. The moment of truth. Okay. Now we just... God, we don't have a single summon here that uh, has a heal, I don't think. seal their skills so yeah what do you guys think do we summon someone or do we take the chance to heal everybody you know hold on oh maybe I should have used peerless on each one actually god damn it okay so wait we I still have uh, these so might as well use them now. Rush combo. Okay. Now let's continue with the uh, Kiwami moves on this guy. I forgot to use Peerless again. 
Please don't die. Oh, okay. Oh no. Yo, Owen Kill. Uh, Owen Kill, welcome. What are the best RGG games? Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think? What are the best RGG games you think for replayability? Hey, good question. Um, Yakuza Zero, maybe one of them. Yakuza Seven. I've always like wanted to play this game again and again, but maybe it's just because of like in my case, I just. I can barely get around to doing anything <laughs> in the first place, so I don't know. Uh, what was it gonna do? Oh yeah, the ladder move. Yo, that deals more damage to everyone than I thought. Or well, to the first two guys on the list there. Come on, let's get him out of the way. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Do you prefer game uh, brawler gameplay or turn-based? I like both. No preference. This is a reply that actually gets people angry. Because they will either say, Oh, I think the other gameplay is fucking horrible. How could you like it? And, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, what do we do? Let's do this. Hmm. Okay. I know. Impossible to enjoy both combats, right? How could I? I don't know why the idea of, like, enjoying multiple things seems so inconceivable to people sometimes. Like, I'm not referring to the person who asked me in particular but I did act I did get more people than I thought I would having that response like just the idea of enjoying both and not really having a specific specific preference is just impossible uh I hate both. <laughs> Can we have a Giga Chat emote for Ben? Reminds me of that one comment that I read. Um, no, trust me, nobody hates Yakuza more than Yakuza fans. <laughs> Social media thrives on conflict and hot takes. Very true. Okay, we actually got one enemy down. Maybe this is going to be possible. Uh, I don't think the mod creator is here, but I think he was uh, kind of surprised to see the, the summoned enemy. So maybe this is possible. So wait... Is it just me or the board guy is not taking damage? Yeah, he's not. Maybe that's the softlock part. Uh... Played every game, hated every single one of them. Yeah, so unless I'm seeing uh, Wong or something, they're not taking damage. So maybe this is a soft luck after all. First time catching one of your streams, Leon. Love the, your content and the community around the games. Hell yeah, Tommy, thank you. Good to have you with us. Yeah, so this doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Let me try different moves, I guess. 
damage over time. Oh yeah. Let's see. Do I have anything that poisons here? Okay, let's see if that deals damage. I think it's uh, the HP is the problem. I think something with the randomizer went wrong here. Yo, Max, how you doing? Addition to cancel billboard guy, yeah. Uh, you are doing a Trails of the Sky playthrough. I wasn't there, unfortunately. How was it? Would you recommend it? Absolutely. If you like RPG games, uh, you're gonna love those games, I think. Though it is a slow burn, so... If you don't like... Uh, games taking their time to set things up... And I mean, like, a long time, like... Tens of hours to set things up, then... Maybe... You're not gonna like it, but... It's three out of ten, yeah. Okay, so, are they even taking, by the way, like, are they taking damage from the dots? Hold on. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's doing anything. Yeah. Well, fellas, for what it's worth, we actually did kind of, you know, win this fight, but the game doesn't want us to advance, so, uh... <sighs> what do you think is the worst job in this game, Leon? Uh... There's a few jobs that I almost never used outside of, you know, leveling up. Chef, uh... Bodyguard... Enforcer... I actually am not a big fan of Adachi's d default job as well, but, you know, I still prefer it over most of the other jobs. Ammon hacked the system so he never loses, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, as you can see, he can't do anything. So, I'm gonna do an epic gamer move called... Outsmart the game. And quit. And thus, we win. Now, we're probably going to go back and do the arena for a little bit. See how that goes. Da -da -da. What is your opinion about Devil Rocker? I kind of wish the job was better. But I like the, um, the aesthetic of it, if you will. I think that's cool, at least. Enforcer, so Ouroboros confirmed in Yakuza, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, we did it. Okay, so... Yes. Easy clap. Man, I hope they keep these, like, little um, icons in Yakuza 8 and make new ones for the playable characters. For the new playable characters. 8-bit Joryu. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, will you play the Brawler mod when that comes out? Yeah, sure. Okay, so... I'm gonna go drink a little something called water, and I'll be back. And you do the same. There you are.
Chat, would you like one? Yes? No? My treat. Ooh. Okay. Ichiban is asking for your taxes. Pay up. Now. Okay, so Timbury Arena. Let's see how that goes. Yo, Wanderlust, welcome. Oh god, hold on, my phone needs... There we go. So, is it just me or each city has like a filter? Yo, Carol, how you doing, buddy? Oh yeah, I bought a lot of different flavors. So I have this, and there is uh, sour cream. I had a barbecue recently as well. Yuppie! Ah, oh, filters. Resident Evil also loves their filters. Okay. Pinhead. Battle bomb. Shill board. Let's see how this goes. Oh, okay. Bold start. I just realized. What, what is Namba doing here? Oh, so this won't be a cakewalk after all. Sick. Or at least, like, you know, not one hit kill. Uh, cakewalk. For some reason, I thought I was using uh, head trauma, so I was mashing square, but then I realized it's a dashi. Yeah, Resident Evil 5 also loves that. Uh, I think someone just mentioned it actually. I thought I saw someone did. Imagine how mad everyone would be if that cinematic filter option in Ishin was on by default and couldn't be disabled. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I heard uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake is gonna keep all of the uh, original voice acting. Which is interesting. I mean, I feel like that's, that's a case where no matter what they do, there will be people that are pissed. For example, if they don't bring back David Hayter, I'm assuming... if Like, assuming they redo all of the voice acting and David Hayter is not in there then you bet your ass people are going to be pissed about that, for starters. Reused uh, voices, of course there's going to be people who don't like that. And you know. Biker boss, Egghead. Does anybody actually like filters in games? I have no idea. I don't know why games are obsessed with that. 
Like Resident Evil 4, including filters as DLC. <laughs> Come on. I forgot to change party members, by the way. I think they're gonna revoice it like Kiwami did. You know, I think they did that for Kiwami 1, but Kiwami 2 kept the original voices. I think so, at least. The infamous Kiwami 2 filter. Ah, green! Okay, so far so good. Might actually keep uh, Adachi and Namba for now. Would you consider making a video of characters that could be in a Yakuza fighting game? The thing is, pretty much any Yakuza character could be in a Yakuza fighting game. in Tekken. <laughs> Verbal abuse. This is a uh, main fighting style. I don't know why I did this move, but that works. Yo, Navy. Yeah, I know. I've been getting that a lot. God, I would pay for someone to port Jimmy to Resident Evil 4 Remake. But don't hold me to that. Okay, so far so good in the arena. We need the exclamation mark early command at this point. True. Wait. Oh. Shady Minister. Currently trying to code a Smash type game, but with Yakuza characters. Nice. Hope that goes well. Once upon a time, I actually wanted to make uh, Yakuza 1 in RPG Maker, but I fucking suck at coding. A friend of mine I actually offered to help, but, you know, projects like that take time, motivation, effort, and I don't know if I had all of those. Maybe even money. Because, you know, you need someone to do the sprites and the UI. And that would be an entirely passion project. And it's not the kind of thing that I can monetize as well, so... Because it's not my game. Pinhead again! Chad GPT is helpful with coding, is it? Damn, okay. Like, I knew it could do students' essays and some shit, but... I love this game, I got platinum for it. Nice. I love this game too. 
I've gotten articles on on how people instructed ChatGPT to destroy humanity, which is cringe, but also we laugh about it now. But uh, one day, the robots will take over. One day. No, yeah, that's a wash of flashback. Yeah, I mean, it's already really fucking impressive and scary what uh, AI technology is capable of doing. Um, the one that I've mainly seen is, you know, recreating uh, or creating images. But I did hear about, um, and I've seen stuff like, you know, um, the voice imitation, which is also scary. Yo, Jacob, thank you for the 19 months. Holy shit. Yeah, can you believe it's been that long already? God damn. Time flies. Yeah, the thing about AI is you always have to give it something to work with. It's... At least for... not for a while, it's not gonna be able to do stuff. Uh... Well... I don't know how to word that, actually, but... I think you know what I'm saying. Even though it's still pretty rough around the edges, I've seen apparently AI generated like anime episodes or something like that. Which again, imagine like 10 years down the line. Where is that gonna go? AI generated TV shows. We haven't been getting too many interesting combinations so far. By interesting combinations, I, I mean like... One of the animals, uh, tigers maybe. Oh yeah, I've heard about the uh, chat GPT thing in Skyrim. God, that is... That is fucking mind-blowing. Like, I think that's one of the, the, one of the most impressive things I've seen come out of AI technology. Where uh, the NPCs become aware of, you know, their lore and background and their surroundings. And you can talk to them, you can type a question, like literally anything. As in, you know, they the mod lets you use the keyboard and like gives you the freedom to say anything. And the character, 
is gonna actually talk back to you. Uh, and it generates a voice line as well, which... Woof! <laughs> that is probably gonna be, um... Or, I don't know if it's gonna be, but th that could potentially be a very, uh... Exciting thing to have in upcoming games. Just imagine the... God, imagine the possibilities, the potential. Have you seen the Spongebob AI show? I have not. Think about the negatives, people losing their jobs. Uh, yeah, I've definitely had concerns about that. I've heard about writers having a problem with- I mean artists as well, like... Though, honestly, maybe this is like a very- maybe someone is gonna hate me for saying this, but I don't think, at least for now, uh, that they're gonna replace actual people. Because... With art, for example, like, yeah, AI technology with that is super good. You get mind-blowing results. But there are still finer details that AI is not able to do a lot of the time. So for me, for example, I'll give an example for me. I want, like, a pixel art starting soon screen, a new one. Is AI going to be able to make one exactly the way I want it? Probably not. Not anytime soon, at least. Um, like, I do see where the concerns are coming from. But I think it's something we don't have to worry about yet. But yeah, keyword, yes. Also, yeah, a lot of the time you can tell that uh, the art is done by AI. Though, having said that, I've heard about a thing on Reddit where an artist submitted an image and the modder banned them because they were so sure it's AI, but it wasn't. So this uncertainty and this, like, conflict is uh, kind of scary as well. Uh... So yeah, I don't think AI is gonna replace people anytime soon. Will it eventually? Probably. Did you kill the tower? Uh, no, we managed to finish it. Yeah, I mean, just in the past year alone, I think, um, AI technology advanced by a scary amount. But yeah, that also begs the question, right? Like, how much... How are they gonna regulate AI technology? I feel like that could be another scary aspect. Where... <laughs> I don't fucking know. You need a license to use AI technology? I don't know. Just throwing out, like, wild ideas. Um... No, oh, has it, Aline. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that's the question that I'm thinking about as well, Awesome. Most of AI technology right now is free, but how long is that going to last? And again, how is it going to be regulated? How can you be sure Devil Leon 7 right now is watching him on the stream? How can you make sure he's not AI? I'm a real human, guys, trust me. As Maria says, see? I'm real. I'm real. Prove it, Leon. Okay, ask me any question. Ask me a question an AI wouldn't be able to answer. <laughs> what is your favorite Yakuza game? Yakuza 5. Easy. Try again. Actually, oh, wait, 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 no, no, uh, Yakuza 0, Yakuza 7, Judgment and Lost Judgment. Phew, there we go. <laughs> what is your favorite Resident Evil game? I myself don't know, actually. Might be Resident Evil 4 Remake. And maybe... I don't know if he, I would even say that's recency bias. I think 4 Remake is really, really good. Uh, do you have strong opinions about food? Oh shit. It's Yoda! Finally! We got a boss. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Do you have strong opinions about food? No. Why would I? True final one? Yeah, we finished that. So now we're in the arena. Counter. Uh oh. Beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna need a blood test. Now, why would you need such a thing? Let's see. Stamina and spark. And Torner. What is armpit candy? A candy that I don't like. Oh, these are tanky. Oh yeah, just like the thing. Speaking of, epic movie. Definitely one of the best movies I've watched. And that's coming from someone who, if you were to ask me, Hey Leon, what's your favorite movie? I would be like, uh, uh, shit. I don't know. But uh, at this point of time, I think it's easy, because I've only recently kind of watched everything there is to watch about it, but Evil Dead... Evil Dead is... Beautiful. Yeah, the thing is so good. Favorite show? Evil Dead. Uh, sorry, Ash vs. Evil Dead. That is also a really good show.
Oh yeah, speaking of Unreal 5, there's also this trend of like hyper-realistic body cam games. Have you guys seen those? Hello, Snow. What character is gonna have a secret relative next? Kiryu, of course. What is that? Um, they're a new genre of games, I guess. They're supposed to be, well, hyper-realistic, as the name or the uh, definition implies. And they're also, like, FPS games, basically, and they look super uh, realistic. Uh, Yokoyama, Death Merchant. Okay. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about Unreal Engine 5, how it's supposed to be really groundbreaking. I know next to nothing about coding though, so I probably wouldn't be able to appreciate or understand a lot of this stuff. But uh, I think the graphics, for starters, insane graphics. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Antonio. Thank you, thank you. Why is Battle for the Dream so Yeah, why is Battle for the Dream underrated, chat? Come on. Show Yakuza 5 some love. Do it. Say I love Yakuza 5. And Battle for the Dream. Wait, really, Spaz? Damn. Stuff like in Sword Art Online, true simulation that includes all five senses isn't that far away. Man. I wonder. If we actually attain stuff like that, that is... I don't know. Oh, really, Spaz? Goddamn. Sniffer game soon, yeah. You'll be able to smell how stinky Namba is soon. Very soon. Oh god, imagine though. When he does the uh, any of the breath moves. And then he spell that. Nice. Yo, Rika, thank you. Why doesn't Namba change out of his homeless outfit in Lad 8? Is he stupid? Got him. So let me heal Ichiban. Wait. There we go. I can't wait for Yakuza 57 when we can finally enter the game with our entire body and push Kiryu around in his wheelchair for full immersion. Yeah. That's gonna be amazing. Uh. Wait, is it just me or they're not taking damage? I hope it's just me. Okay, okay, they are. Nice. Uh -oh. 
In Yakuza 57, we can finally travel to Japan without a plane. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> uh, so, hold on. To real, 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 real. Tiger. Who is this gonna be? Uh oh. Oh no. Boring. Should have been the, the, the thing from earlier. Uh, uh, why are you doing this? What do you mean? Oh no. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, no Eldritch beings this time. Eldr Wait, do you say Eldritch or Eldrick? It's Eldrick, right? Just to be sure. I almost never say that word, so I, I have no idea. <laughs> Eldritch, okay. Sick. Thank you. This guy's tanky. Then again, he is supposed to be a boss. Darkest Dungeon. You know, I bought that game, but I still haven't played it. I bought it for the Vita. Because I found a cool collector's edition. That was during my uh, collector edition phase. Uh, phase. Elden Ring is overrated. Interesting. I still haven't played that game, but I was thinking of getting it. Seems like a fun game. And Yakuza 57 will finally know what vitamin C drink tastes like. Yeah. Hmm. My god, the amount of Tokyo Army Alliance member members never ceases to amaze. Maybe we should heal Ichiban. But first... <laughs> Blue Mage. Uh, which game is that supposed to be from? Let's see, let me heal Psycho. Final Fantasy, okay. Man, I still need to play the remake on stream. <laughs> One day. One day I'm gonna do that. One day. Is it like a 40 hour game? Oh, 
Do you prefer the OG Tanimura or the new one? I think it's really not big enough of a difference to warrant an opinion. In my opinion. I, like, I've seen people who are, I guess, really disappointed for one or the other. And it's like, cool, well, I guess like people have their preferences, but I really don't think it's that big of a deal. Both of them do uh, the role pretty well. Have you played Persona? No, but uh, no, I see Um I do. Um, I've been given Persona 5 recently, so that's another game that I might want to stream. Uh, Take a shot every time Leon says he's gonna play Final Fantasy 7. Please don't. I'm worried about you guys' safety. We grinding before the true hell starts? No, this is... Uh, we're just going through this um, for the randomizer. Uh, I'm already maxed on almost everything. I need uh, a Torinor. Which OG characters do you think will come back in 8? I can see Majima and Saijima coming back. Other than that though, who knows. Will the florist come back at last? Probably not. But you know. They don't let you stream all of Persona 5. Wait, do they have, like, the same thing with the Yakuza where they don't like uh, that you stream spoilers? Well, if that's the case, shit. I might stream just at least once. Just to, like, go through the beginning of the game. I don't know. Yeah, same, Ben. I want to see new characters, for sure. I don't want them to rely too much on old characters. Because, you know, they've they've shown time and time again, they can make really good new characters. I mean, just look at the Kaito files. Look at Yakuza 7. No one enforces the streaming rule. People do have done full runs on Twitch. Well, here's the thing. YouTube can have more restrictions than Twitch. I think, in fact, Yakuza 7, the Japanese release, I couldn't stream that on YouTube because I would get copyright strikes. Not a notice, no, a strike, if I remember right. So that means when I finish streaming that game, first of all, the video gets blocked worldwide, and second of all, my channel gets a strike. If I get three strikes, the channel is gone. It's dead. Poof. Just gone. That made me go and stream the game on Twitch, which was allowed there. So, I'm thinking maybe it's that kind of situation, where on Twitch they don't care. But on YouTube, <laughs> you better fucking watch your ass. God, I'm so glad once again that RGG said that going forward, they want to lift all these restrictions. Even though Yokoyama said like, eh, I don't like this idea, but you know, times are changing. Yeah, I can't stress how important of a decision that was, Yokoyama, so... <laughs> Best thing you guys ever did. Uh, which hairstyle do you prefer for Ichiban? I think the, the afro and the ponytail look best on him. Yo, Manis, how are you doing? Yeah, I heard it's gonna be out soon. Is it out right now? I heard it's tomorrow? Unless he got early access or something. Go 
what, restri what restrictions did they lift? Um, so previously, RGG really didn't like whenever people uploaded cutscenes or like spoilers. So whenever people did that on YouTube, usually you would get a copyright strike. Uh, but they said that going forward they want to not do that. Because, you know, people like to stream games that they enjoy playing. And it would be fucking stupid for a company to shut down streams of people playing games they enjoy. Because that's also free advertising. Oh no no, not music. Cutscenes. But yeah, I had a long history of that. I'm just like, RGG. I love your games. I want to share the goodness of your games. Why do you do this to me? So once again, the fact that they acknowledged this recently. And God, I hope they launch the partner program in uh, outside of Japan. I really do. I didn't, but I did see that she got her classic costume, and most characters did, which is amazing. Um, I hope Tekken does the same. It probably will. Because I'm really not sure how I feel on the new Paul design. I miss his goofy-ass hair. Uh-oh. And then you have Nintendo. We hate our fans. God. Nintendo sinks to new lows every time. I heard about how Dolphin, the emulator, was, I think, on Steam. It got on Steam recently. And then... I think... Nintendo filed a DMCA against Steam. Or something like that. Which is like... Come the fuck on. Like, emulators themselves, as far as I know, they're not what's illegal. Piracy is illegal. Like, you can use an emulator, legit, without breaking any laws. Uh, I think, um, so if you, like, if you own the console itself, there's a whole process as to how you extract some of the stuff to make it work with an emulator. So again, the emulators themselves are not illegal. Uh, oh, you can preload it, nice. Yeah, I might buy it. Uh, I really hope the single player mode for that game is like replayable and just really fun. Everyone so far loved the single player mode. Yeah, I've been seeing that too. Like, everyone just has something good to say about it. So, can't wait. Oh, by the way, are the classic costumes DLC? I really hope they're not. Because I know Street Fighter V, I think, went pretty ham on the DLC costumes. And also, Street Fighter vs. Tekken. Sure as hell did. I'm not a fan of fighting games, but Street Fighter 6 looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, same. I, my whole life, I've actually disliked Street Fighter games. But man, that game looks amazing. Um, you would get them from doing World Tour. I'm assuming that's the single player mode. Hmm. How many floors in the arena? 30. So we're over halfway through. Now let me... I don't know if this is going to do anything, but... I see. Right, so maybe I'm going to buy the game and tomorrow we can stream that. We'll see. Hmm. 
Sordid Curse. Just in case. Can we do sets with you? Sure, why not? It's been forever, but I remember doing... I can't remember if it was a video or a stream where we played Tekken 7 with people, viewers. Yo, thank you for the gift, it's a shin. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we can't use... Really? Come on. Congratulations, awesome. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the Saijimas there. <laughs> Man, I really want follower emotes. Or if you subscribe to the channel, you get access to one emote. Saijima's there. Everybody. Everybody gets it. And then my chat can be filled with Saijima's there, because everybody has it. I should still... I want to commission new emotes, I just don't know what to make. I think someone has been asking for... I remember we talked about pause champ. I think. Mm. Same swaggy. I'm just waiting for MK to do another reboot for the third time because they killed everyone off again and wrote themselves into a corner. Yeah, Mortal Kombat seems to be in an in interesting spot. And this time, Raiden is replaced by Liu Kang for some reason, right? If what I gathered is correct. He's the uh, white-eyed, like, super powerful guy. White people happy. Does that work? It doesn't work the way I want it to. Man. The day YouTube gets a proper, like, BTTV kind of setup with chat is the day I'm gonna be a very happy man. Speaking of fighting games, I bought King of Fighters 15. And I'm thinking about how depressing it is that I barely played that. <laughs> Liu Kang and Raiden fused in 11. And Liu Kang became the god of fire and lightning. Okay, so that's how it is. Okay, yeah, 15 is fun, but never gets played. Yeah, like... Um, I was hoping to play it at least for up to 10 hours, maybe, but... Does it have a story mode? I can't remember. Yo, Def, how are you doing? <laughs> maybe it's just... I don't really enjoy 2D fighting games in general. Maybe that's why I just kind of dropped it, but I don't know. In general, there's a lot of games that I bought, like, bought, and I never even booted up, boot up, booted up the game. Like, just my collection here. Half of them are games that I, uh, they're still sealed. But yeah, as far as fighting games go... I've usually found myself drawn to uh, 3D ones like Tekken, um, Dead or Alive. Not Virtual Fighter though. 
then again, Virtual Fighter, I don't think has gotten uh, much love for a while. Yeah, the auto block, love it. The Yoma poster collecting dust, yeah. Man, I really wanted to hang that here, but can't really do that. <sighs> and I've been thinking of rearranging my room in general, but I have no idea how, like, I actually was ready to rearrange my room a few months ago. I was asking my brother for a bit of help with that, but then I was like, eh, you know, do I really need to? <laughs> Wait 30 years and sell them for quadruple the price. Yeah. Oh, this is this this is that one fight where one of the enemies joins us. Sick. I'll take it. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a single Sawashiro yet. Now watch the next floor be Sawashiro. <laughs> okay, let me just drink. Nice, AJ. Okay, no Sawashiro yet. I think this guy didn't change uh, last time I went here as well. Still the same. Or maybe... no. I don't know. Man, I have an iffy relationship with games that do stuff like that with Mortal Kombat. One example is Call of Duty Zombies. My goodness. The timeline in that game, don't fucking bother trying to understand anymore. It started so simple. And I mean, like, it got complicated and not in the good way. Like, you have all these alternate dimensions. And different versions of the same characters. And, like, they go back in time to change history. And, like, this one object from the past in a certain dimension has significance in the other dimension. And, like... My god, please! Why couldn't we keep it simple? And like, you might be thinking, for those who watched Trails, you might be thinking, okay, what about Trails? That game has some of that stuff, maybe. And... To that I say, not really. Or maybe... Even if it does, it goes very, very, very gradual. Um, it really takes its time to get to the point where things kind of get like that. Uh, Want to play FPS game? Uh, what game are you talking about? Have you ever played Payday 2? The story for that game is ridiculous. I did play Payday 2, but I didn't know... I guess I didn't really care to know if there was a story. And I don't mean that in a bad way, I just, you know... It's the kind of game where you play for the heists and... I don't know. Not everyone really goes deep into the lore of games. Serious Sam. I heard the name... Uh, long ago, though. Do they still make new, uh, new games for that? Okay, let's see what this is gonna be. Before it was in 2020, but it was underwhelming. Well. This member. 
The story for Payday 2 kind of began when the old actors for one of the characters came back. Huh. The amount of times my buddy made me hold a zombie while he adjusted the flux capacitor. Yeah, the Easter eggs uh, were something in those games. Remember the Easter egg on Moon in Black Ops 1 where you destroy Earth? <laughs> Amazing. The number is Mason. What do they mean? That the Tao, Jason. <sighs> Speaking of Far Cry, uh, how? What do you guys think of Far Cry Six? I didn't. I think it didn't have the best reception, if I remember right. Though I think I heard praise for five. The number is Mason. Far Cry 6 is just more Far Cry. The only Far Cry that I played, or at least the only one that I finished, was uh, 3. I remember starting uh, 4, but I dropped it very quick. Oh no. Ichiban needs a heal and also peerless, just in case. Five made me become religious. <laughs> really? <laughs> I know that it's about a cult of some sort, but that's all I know. This Okay, sorry. We don't mention that song. Mm. <laughs> Don't jinx me, Alien. <laughs> I have not touched a single Ubisoft game since. Since how would you guys feel if they make a new Duke Nukem uh, game? Assuming uh, people in chat know, what, I mean, I'm sure there are people in chat who know what that is, but like, I feel like it's such an old, like, a, such a forgotten IP. And the last title, I guess, didn't help matters. We're almost there. If we get Sawashiro now, that would be hilarious. Bleed Japan. The last Assassin's Creed game I touched was Revelation. Couldn't even finish it. I think I 
tried playing the first or the second one on the PS3, but I dropped it. I was obsessed with Assassin's Creed, but I got sick of it, really. Was it... let me guess. Was it the fanbase or just... You uh, saw too much and like invested too much that it's like, you're done. <laughs> Too much time, played everything except the last game. Okay. Mm. What is that guy weak to? Oh, nice. Okay, that works. Have you guys ever heard of... Uh, what was the game called? It's an old game. Uh, Eternal Darkness. I remember starting that game... But I don't know if I was playing it on my own, or if I was streaming that game at some point. But I never finished the game. And if you don't know anything about the game, it's... One of the more creative horror games. Which is why I'm considering maybe playing that one day on stream. God, that shot looks so good. For me, Assassin's Creed fell off when every main character was some special dude. So just like anime? <laughs> yeah, the game was on GameCube. We have a lot of enemies, but luckily, we also have a lot of AoE moves. Even Shinada is hardly some normal dude. Bro took down an Ammon, that is true. I mean, honestly, yeah, every single protagonist. No matter how much you want to convince yourself, oh, they're somewhat normal. No. Not even Tatsuya. Not even Yagami. And sure as hell, not even Ichiban. Well, Ichiban is the one that you could argue, make a case for the most. But even then. Like, looking at Katsuya, my man is like, what, 18? Learns 20 plus fighting styles. Uh... Normal people can dodge, yeah. <laughs> Damn, Namba! Look at Ethan Winters. He's supposed to be some office worker in 7. And he's anything but. Yeah, neither Koryo game has an Ammon, which is funny because Koryo is more of a Yakuza game than something like Lost Paradise. But Lost Paradise has Joe Ammon himself. 
Okay, I need to, first of all, heal Ichiban and also heal this. Holy shit, the damage. Oh no. Okay. No, let's heal Namba first. <laughs> I love this animation, dude. <laughs> uh, goofy ass Namba. Yo, Salman, how you doing? Looks like a fish, yeah. Do 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 do. Last floor. What if this is the floor where we get Sawashiro? And... Fight. Actually, wait. Let me just get ready. Yo, Dennis. How you doing? No Sawashiro, sure. okay. Yeah, for the most part this rando hasn't been very, uh, the arena hasn't really been very uh, colorful. We did get one, uh, who was it? Ishiyota. That was like, the only interesting fight I think. Oh yeah, we also had uh, the, uh, no, did we have a Catherine? No, I don't think we did. That was in the tower. Wait, what's the soundtrack? Oh shit, hell yeah, dude. Love it. Yeah, generic. Okay, peerless. <clears throat> Let me heal Ichiban. <laughs> so what is this guy weak to? Water. Oh yeah, I should... Man, I want to check out Dragon's Dogma as well. Uh, so many games to play, <laughs> so little time. I gotta remember uh, Street Fighter 6. Just don't talk to the blacksmith too much. Wait, why not? You can tell me. Look at him spin! I hope this RGG summit will reveal something good.
As always, I just say try to keep expectations low. Uh, don't expect new games, I'll just say that. Console exclusives are stupid. Yeah, but... Okay, well, the tower, uh, I mean, the arena is done. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna do much else for today, actually. Can't wait for the new hostesses to be announced. Same. Mm. I'm not expecting news other than Gaiden and 8, honestly. Same. If we get anything more, that would be an extra. <clears throat> I like Dragon Dogma's combat, but running around everywhere is annoying. So there's no, like, fast travel system? Dead Souls 2, baby! Man, don't... Listen, I was just talking about setting expectations low. Don't make me have copium, hopium. Hopium, copium. Hopium. Uh... Yeah, the fact that we're getting uh, PlayStation exclusives on PC now is pretty good. There is fast travel in Dragon's Dogma, you just can't do it whenever. I see. Okay. Hmm. How long would you say is an average playthrough of Dragon's Dogma? Yeah, everybody's curious about the combat in Gaiden, like, after having seen, you know, 6 and Kiwami 2 with Kiryu, but then also how Yagami's combat is, will Kiryu have the same level of, like, fluidity and, you know, 30 plus hours? I see. Yo, CK, welcome. Don't hit the story beats till the last act of the game, then it starts picking up. Hmm. I'm assuming is it like Dragon Age where you switch around characters, or do you just play as your main character and your teammates or party members are uh, AI? I just hope that Kiryu won't get stunlocked for 9 million years if he accidentally hits a blocking enemy. Yeah, everybody wants that. Yeah, in Dogma. Oh, you only play as the MC, okay. Mm. I heard the DLC for Dragon Dogma changes everything? How so? Blokuza 6, yeah. So how many of you are going to be getting Street Fighter 6 then? Um, I might actually get it uh, today, or pre-order it. Not me. Hmm. Fellas, pick a drink. Anything. My treat. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If they're gonna hype up Gaiden, all they need to show is Kiryu being Kiryu and not some goon from Yakuza 3. <laughs> yeah. God, I... <laughs> it's funny because I kind of have an idea of what to expect from the showcase, but at the same time... I don't. It could like it could be 
way better than anything we imagine, even with, uh, you know, expectations being in check. Green tea, grape. Alaikum as salam, hada, amin al Bahrain. And Timon Wayne? Well, did you see him? He was like, I want that one. But I interrupted him. Feels bad. Hey, Jab, what do you want? Pick one. Come on. Any one of these drinks right here. He's thinking about it. Anything. Come on. Pink lemonade, maybe? Hmm. I don't know what he's trying to tell me. Number. God damn it, there's a time and place for everything. Sorry, yeah, when um I lay them out of Yeah, now I'm by exposed. Knowing RGG, there's going to be at least one wild announcement at the summit. That's the thing, though. Part of me wants to believe that, but at the same time, there have been instances before where they, like, do a stream, and people are hoping for an annou announcement. All we get, though, is, like, bye, have a good time, or, hey, guys, coat hangers. <laughs> and then the stream ends. So, could be either of those, really. I don't know. We'll see. Those, oh, true, true. Those are usually uh, the JP only streams. Mm. Once again, I don't think they're gonna top the first summit. That was a new beginning. That was, you know, acrylic stands, funding Yakuza 8, yeah. And the coat hangers, don't forget those. And the, uh, the perfumes. How long are the streams usually? You can't tell me they spent an hour talking about coat hangers, right? Well, those particular streams we're talking about, the JP ones, I guess an hour to two. Like, they spend a lot of them talking about stuff, and I don't know what exactly, but they talk about a lot of stuff. <laughs> Plushies coming in August and October. Oh yeah, wait. Not the Asian ones, right? Uh, the main series ones, I think? I don't know. <laughs> do, 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 do. The mainline ones, right. Yeah, maybe. Maybe then. Plushies, yeah. I think you can get them from, what was it? Yes Asia, I think. Oh, boy. Bottle cap pins. They love their bottle cap pins, too. After 18 years. Official Yakuza plushies. Honestly, 8 was announced way too early. That is true, yeah. Technically, two years before the release. I'm assuming they just decided to, like, throw that in the pile while, you know, they had all these announcements going on. And, I mean, if they were hoping to make fans, like, piss themselves, then uh, they they were successful with that. Because, holy shit. During the entire stream, and then after the stream for, like, a, a whole day, if not more, I, w I, was, I was in the state where I couldn't believe what I just saw. Yo, Kazzy. Good, how are you doing? So that we get used to Kyria's new look early on. Hey, maybe. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, I said this like 10 times already, but man, I hope Gaiden has replayability. Like premium adventure, being able to swap costumes there. Uh, even if it's like reused costumes. I hope there's at least a couple of new ones. Uh, what else? A 
apart from the summit, there's still Tokyo Game Show. True. Um, I wonder if there's going to be sub-stories. Like, if they add them, like, at all. I'm expecting, like, what, 20-ish sub-stories, if not less. I, I don't know. Maybe that's me being generous. I hope we get American Kiryu outfit, yeah. <laughs> Great outfit. I genuinely, like, used to love the outfit, mainly because of the shades. I thought they looked cool on him. The question is, should Gaiden have Amon again? Yeah, maybe they could include uh, the uh, Joryu outfit as something of a teaser. Who knows, maybe we'll see him don the outfit at the end. I'm worried Sega will make Gaiden full price. I mean, I'm hoping not, but I'm gonna get the game either way. I was hoping for something like $40 max, but who knows. Assuming, you know, it's going to be bigger than the Kaito Files, as they said it will be. Uh... When I said I was expecting 20 sub-stories, I meant 20 sub-stories that are loaded. Like, you know, Judgment Tier loaded. For those, like, who forgot, if you, in case you did forget, the Judgment games don't really have that many uh, side cases or sub-stories. I think either the first or the second one had like in the 40s and the other had in the 50s. But most of them like had a lot going on. So if we get 20 sub-stories in the Gaiden, but they're kind of lengthy, I think that would be fine. Like I would... I don't mind that. Ay, 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 ay. But yeah, I do wonder how much Gaiden is going to be. 30, I'd pay that. 40, I'd pay. Hell, even if it's 60. I mean, I make Yakuza videos, so I'm going to pay that. But yeah, it's different for uh, uh, people. Yeah, the school story is definitely made up for any lack of... Sad cases. I like the Ishin one where the lady just kept talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he got them YouTube riches. Yeah, not after the trail streams, unfortunately. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Any predictions on the supposed all-new location? Uh, no, that's, like, I've been asked about that, I think, a few times before, but no idea. I don't know if it's going to be, like, a whole new city, or just part of the temple being a new area, and then the rest is, like, Yokohama or something. I, I don't know. Mm. A location in the countryside would be nice. Yeah, I agree with that. A hundred dollar special edition that comes with a Joryu coat hanger, yeah. I do wonder if Gaiden is gonna get like a limited edition, but I really doubt it. Because for one, full games. Like Yakuza 7, didn't get the collector edi collector's edition in the West. Um, there was one from Pixel Love, but that's officially li licensed, but li like it's not from Sega. Uh, the last decent one was Yakuza 6's, the After Hours edition. I really want to see them do more. 
When will YouTube accept that the trail streams are big vibes? I know, right? Country so uh, countryside sounds nice in th theory, but who are you going to beat up? Grandmas? I mean... Onomichi wasn't exactly countryside, but by comparison, it is kind of, you know... So maybe something like that. You'll find, like, country hooligans. Or bears, even. Yeah, bears, random encounters. Animal random encounters. A horse picks a fight with you. <laughs> As someone from the countryside, don't mess with the grandmas. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, we'll fight grandmas. How about that? <laughs> I mean, have you seen the Obitarian? Yeah, enough said. Okinawa is nothing but a peaceful island, and they somehow managed to fit a Yakuza faction there. That is true. <laughs> Knowing RGG, the Obitarian is still alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody dies anymore. Which, man, I, I know I've said multiple times before that I have just kind of came to accept the meme nature of the story and like all these revivals and how age is just a big meme in Yakuza but man I really do want to see more like they should just implement more deaths they, they shouldn't be afraid to kill characters and I, I don't I don't just mean like you know oh cool new villain kill him off no I mean like important characters you know Hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, let me check out Street Fighter real quick. Jimmy died, though. True. I was shaking that moment. I have no idea how they could just kill him off. Street Fighter 6. There we go. Deluxe Edition and Ultimate Edition. Now, what the hell is the difference? Wait. Uh. <sighs> What if they off-screen... Wait, with Deluxe you get all DLC for Season 1? Okay, because I don't think it mentions here on the Steam page what they have. I'm assuming the Ultimate Edition then is all the Season Passes, the future Season Passes. Wait. Street Fighter... 6 Editions. Let's see. So, year one character pass, four additional characters, four additional character colors, outfit one, colors three to ten, purchase bonus, 4,200 drive tickets. What the hell are you going to use that for? That's kind of worrying. And then ultimate edition, year one ultimate pass, and then... Additional costumes, two additional stages. Wait, why are stages DLC? That's kind of sus, not gonna lie. And then you get more tickets compared to the deluxe edition 7,700. I just want to know why are stages DLC? That, that, that has the same energy as making uh, filters <laughs> DLC. Uh, 
Uh... Hmm. Anybody think Gaiden is going to have an English dub? That's a that's something I've been wondering for a while. I hope it does. If it means Daryl is going to come back, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Now the launch stages. Hmm. And do we know what uh, the drive tickets are for? What 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 are, what are we going to use those for? Like costumes or unlockables or is it like a premium currency kind of thing or I don't know. Uh Games currency. Okay, hold on. Three fighter six drive tickets. Right, cosmetic purchases and potential gameplay enhancements. Huh. Yo, thank you, uh, Mr. Devil, for the 15 months. God damn, thank you, thank you, thank you. Play some Mahjong to relax your nerves. You know, I we still have to do that Mahjong stream one day. Uh, and I'm not joking. I know it might seem like I'm joking, but I do want to make a Mahjong stream. Uh, for, for like 8 or 10 hours. Would you guys tune in? <laughs> Fight money. So wait, players can earn drive tickets through gameplay by completing daily challenges or purchasing them directly. And then... Uh, early adopters who purchase... The deluxe and ultimate editions of the game are rewarded with bonus drive tickets, granting them a valuable advantage right from the start. The use of drive tickets is tightly integ integrated with the game's online features, enabling customization and character progression. Despite concerns, microtransactions in Street Fighter VI aim to maintain balanced gameplay, avoiding pay-to-win scenarios. Yo, thank you for the one month. Ben, thank you, thank you. All right, gifted sub. Yeah, thank you, whoever gifted that sub. So apparently, Street Fighter VI still aims to avoid pay-to-win scenarios somehow. Da -da 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 -da. I would gift subs for that. Okay, we got a next stream is gonna be Mahjong. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Mahjong is one thing, but ten hours. Even better, am I right? So, okay, well. If you guys never knew how to play Mahjong, say less. Don't worry, I'm going to teach you next time. And I'm going to suck at it. Okay, well, uh, we did everything we wanted to do today. So I think this is a good place to end the stream. If things go according to plan, tomorrow I might stream Street Fighter Six And see how that goes. Um... Which side are you on? North Menace or Unity of Metal? North Menace, I think. <sighs> Alright, fellas. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you have a great rest of the day or the night or a good sleep if you're going to sleep. And I will see you tomorrow or after tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye.